everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna give you a recap of my first trimester and i'm gonna talk to you about all of my symptoms that i had from week 4 to week 12. in case you haven't watched my previous video i already talked about my very first pregnancy symptoms that i had before i found out i was pregnant those were fatigue headache and cramps and that was at about four weeks of my pregnancy and thinking about those pregnancy symptoms, they might have actually started even before week four because, for example, when I um, did my boxing classes, I started boxing about two months before I became pregnant. And um, of course, gradually I improved, I got better, my endurance got better. And then suddenly during my last two classes, I felt so exhausted, like I couldn't even do more than three rounds, I think. And even my coach was already wondering what is wrong with you because, you know, you were getting better and then now you're suddenly feeling so tired and you can't even finish um, more than four rounds. But again, I'm not 100% sure if those were already pregnancy symptoms or if that wasn't just my you know, my fit days. Anyway, going back to the symptoms that I had after I found out I was pregnant, so after I saw my positive pregnancy tests, I still continued to be so exhausted and I was tired all the time. And from week five onwards, um, my acid reflux became so bad. So even before my pregnancy, I, you know, had these acid reflux symptoms, like I've had those for two years already or so. They would just come and go, but then, um, on my you know very first trimester my acid reflux was so bad it was so bad that i would have heartburn and it would be so painful that i had to go to the emergency room a couple of times and go to the doctor and ask them you know to to help me to give me like some medication because of course it was my first pregnancy and i didn't know what to do and what medications would be safe so i've been to the emergency room for a couple of times because of my heartburn. Luckily, there um, is this one medication that I'm allowed to use that is safe for pregnancy, which is Gaviscon, and my doctor prescribed me to take that medication for, um, you know, for my entire, almost my entire first trimester, and I was supposed to take it after meals, and it was just such a lifesaver for me. I really couldn't deal with the acid reflux, I couldn't deal with the pains that I have in my upper stomach and with the heartburn that I have. Sometimes my heartburn was really so bad that I would have um, shortness of breath and it confused me with my asthma because I also have asthma and I wasn't sure which one it was but then in the end it just turned out to be my acid reflux, my heartburn that was so bad. Moving on to my next pregnancy symptom, on about week 6, I started to become so thirsty. Like from drinking only 2 liters of water a day, I started to drink more than 3 liters of water. And um, which also meant, of course, that I had to visit the bathroom more often than usually. But it was okay for me because, of course, I knew that my body needed the extra fluid and that my baby needed it to grow. At week seven, I got these really bad heat flushes. Like for example, in the evening when I'm about to sleep, I would suddenly feel so, so hot. Even if the aircon was turned on full blast, I didn't need a blanket and I still needed to get an electric fan to keep me cooler because I don't know why I've just suddenly felt so hot as if I was gonna explode. And I'm actually a person who feels cold most of the time compared to my husband, for example. He's someone who feels hot most of the time and wants the room to be cold and all that. And, and I would feel cold compared to him. But that time, um, for about three days in week seven, I felt so hot during the evening. Anyway, on week seven, I also had another symptom kicking in, which is one of the most known pregnancy symptoms, and that is morning sickness. I didn't just have it in the morning. Sometimes I got it in the middle of the day or in the evening, and I would feel so nauseous all the time. I would describe it as a really, really bad hangover, like as if you went out the night before and had tons of alcohol to drink and the next morning you would feel so bad as if you want to throw up like you don't even have any appetite and all that and that's how i felt my morning sickness and it was really really bad because sometimes i had this feeling that as if everything that i ate would come up and would be like stuck in my throat and would really want to come out right away and sometimes i had to run to the bathroom right away and you know 
throw up. But there were some days where I didn't have to throw up, which were one of the good days, but I still felt very nauseous. Now entering the second month, I still felt so exhausted all the time. And this exhaustion lasted my entire first trimester. But one good thing that happened this second month was that my cramps were almost gone. So my next symptom that I want to talk about is food. I did not have any special or weird cravings at all, but I actually got the opposite. I had no appetite at all. I'm not sure if it was because of my morning sickness or my nausea, or if it was because of my acid reflux that my food choices were so limited, I wasn't allowed to, you know, if you have acid reflux, you're not allowed to have um, spicy food, oily food, sour food and all that. So I'm not sure what the cause of my loss of appetite was but I just wasn't you know really hungry much and that led me to weight loss. So I lost about um, five to six pounds in my first trimester and I was kind of worried about it because I knew that you were supposed to gain weight but then when I went to my doctor, my doctor said it's fine. Um, it's actually normal for most women to lose weight in the first trimester because of, you know, all these um, um, vomiting and all the food aversions and all that. But one good thing about food for me was that I was never sensitive to the smell of any certain types of food because I've heard that some women would, you know, gag or, you know, would actually want to vomit from certain types of food like strong smell of fish or whatever and I didn't have any problem with that and I actually was able to eat anything that I wanted it's just that my choices were so limited because of my acid reflux. Now talking about smells which leads us to my next pregnancy symptom I hated the scent of perfumes or air fresheners so so much it made me feel like I couldn't breathe anywhere there was someone passing by with a strong perfume or if that was a room with a air freshener or with this automatic air scent that comes out or whatever or these oil infusers I hated it so much. I felt like I couldn't breathe. The worst scent that I hate is the scent of men's perfume. So whenever my husband would put perfume on himself, I'd be like, please go away. I really can't stand the smell right now. So yeah, that was another symptom of mine. Now heading towards the third month, an additional pregnancy symptom was breast soreness and nipple sensitivity. My breasts were so sore and so, so painful. Like, it was really uncomfortable for me to you know, like even just move or sleep on the sides because they were really very very sore and painful and my nipples they were so sensitive like i couldn't even shower properly because it was so painful even if it was just water that would hit them so I'm sorry this is a little tmi but yeah so the nipples Oh my god, they're so sensitive, like it, I never experienced that before. The only good thing that happened to my breasts was of course they grew bigger, but that was it. And everything else that happened with my breasts I really did not enjoy because it was really just uncomfortable for me. Then lastly, towards the end of my first trimester, I had lower back pain. So at first I wasn't sure why I would get those back pains because my belly wasn't even big at all. So why would there be pressure in my lower back? But then when I searched online, it can also happen in the first trimester or even throughout the entire pregnancy. So yeah, that's what I had in the end of my first trimester. I had, you know, very uncomfortable lower back pain, but then it went away after like a couple of weeks. I'm finally done mentioning all of my pregnancy symptoms during my first trimester. Let me just list them down for all of you. So here they are. My first trimester symptoms were fatigue and exhaustion, occasional headaches, cramps, acid reflux and heartburn, extreme thirst, heat flashes, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, weight loss, sensitivity to smells, sore breasts and sensitive nipples, and back pains. So as you can see, the first three months of my pregnancy were not easy at all. And if you can imagine, during those three months of my pregnancy, I had to plan my wedding. And it was so difficult as my wedding was at the end of my first trimester, at exactly week 13, was the day of my wedding. And 
it was just really hard for me you know to do all the planning and to be under all this stress but fortunately i was able to handle the stress very well and i'm so thankful to my husband for being so helpful and for being so hands-on and all the wedding planning and i'm so glad that we booked a professional wedding planner to help us smooth things out and that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!